Good morning. Welcome to Slim Chat. I really tried then because as I moved the chair, the seat, it was going in and out like this, you know, like I was going like this. I thought that looks pretty weird. That looks really creepy. So I stopped it and then I tried really hard pressing the button to start really, really gently so it wouldn't start up again. Because I think that's all you need, isn't it? In the morning is this. It looks worse. It's like this. <clears throat> looks a bit kind of like a 70s movie um oh what the, what's the word when they do use it side uh special effect because they didn't really have that many in the 70s did they they had moving in and out they had the swirly pattern going round and round on blobs that's probably it i'm thinking really the one that utilized the most of the special effects was batman remember that program batman gadzoots and kapow and all that sort of thing would loom up very 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 camp program but i was glued to that when i was a child i loved batman and robin anyway <clears throat> good morning so diet wise i didn't have the best of days yesterday i have to say um not that i was bad started the day gary made us haddock which i've never really had that for breakfast before but it filled me up for quite some time <laughs> figure um and then lunchtime i had a banana I haven't had a banana for a while because they've had a bit of a weird taste for me. And although the first mouthful was weird, it started tasting more like a banana as I got through it. And I think that's happening to me a lot. Like when I had dinner, we had roast beef. And the first mouthful was like, mmm. And then as I started to eat it, I started to enjoy the dinner and it, and it tasted like roast beef. And same with the vegetables. It's a bit, bit weird. It, definitely something odd. But my real taste buds kick in after a while. I'd be glad when it's all over with. I don't, I don't like the way it's... I know it must be the, something to do with having had the coronavirus and having the coronavirus jab that's that's done all this. But I feel someone's... One of the doctors said, I've got a feeling we're just going to have to re-educate our palates. And I thought, how do you do that? But it is true, because once I start eating that thing, the real flavour of it does come through after a few mouthfuls. But at first, it's just like, mm, no. Some things are still too bad that I won't even bother trying. But yeah, we had roast beef. We had a lemon world roast, which was really nice. The potatoes were little tiny ones, um, but it was absolutely gorgeous. It wasn't really full up and bloated afterwards either. And we went to the cinema. Didn't have anything naughty. While we were at the cinema, and they have pick and mix, they had ice cream and everything. We didn't have anything. But I chose a Fanta. And it wasn't till afterwards I thought... Was that diet Fanta or was it not? So I looked it up and Fanta's not as bad as all the other drinks, so which that's not too bad. Um, but when I got home, sitting in front of the TV, we had a few bags of crisps, which is probably bad. Well, Cheetos I had. So I must have had a good 15 sins. but And it would have took me over my amount of sins. But you know what? I think sometimes you've just got to. You've just got to kind of have a little bit wasn't like major blowout for crying out loud so i can't see that much of a problem but i did do it naughty me so today we're having a curry because um we have martin gary's brother and his girlfriend cara coming over um we asked him over specifically to do a little bit of um work because he's an electrician we needed a new plug socket put in because the one one we're using now keeps tripping the electrics which is very annoying because I have to go under this desk and lift up the trip switches because that's where the electrics are, all under this desk, which is a very, very weird place to have it, I know. But this used to be the front door, so then it's not. If you think about it, this is the front door, the electrics were down there, then it makes sense. But this is no longer the front door, it was a room. So it does seem odd to have the electrics over here, but hey, that's where it is. Um, and I probably, you know, shouldn't put so much stuff around it all but i do hopefully one day i'll have space anyway so yeah we've got uh chicken curry i have to cook the chicken for gary today so that when he comes home he can do it and um i don't think he made sure we had enough rice i have to message him because otherwise he'll, he'll need to pop in the supermarket before he comes home Mm, so I went to the cinema last night, saw Venom, had a very nice evening. Um, so yeah, I had Fanta, as I've said. Um, and 
I'm hoping it was a diet Fanta anyway, but because I can remember when they started bringing out all these drinks and they brought out in this country, we have a sugar tax on drinks. So if you're in a pub or a restaurant, um, it was that if you bought um, a Coke Zero, for instance, or um, a diet drink, then you, if you wanted the fattening one, you'd have to pay like 20% extra. So if you say for argument's sake that a drink was a pound, the sugary one's one pound 20, you know. So uh, yeah, that was that was that anyway. But um, at first, most of the pubs and places went over to everything being diet and then have one pump that was the fattening. It used to be the other way around, you know, you go and all of the pumps were um, hot, like full, full, sugar and then you'd get one that was diet and it started to become the other way around but now that that's all gone quite a bit by the wayside the tax is still there but i think companies have started to level out the, the price of stuff so that it just costs the same we probably pay a bit more for ours which is annoying but there you go um yeah so i don't know it's a new place a new venue i've not i've never been to uh twice now so i and i just said oh because i looked along them and I, I can't drink coke still it doesn't taste good for me um and they had sprite which sometimes is good and sometimes really isn't um so i figured oh fanta it's orange tasted disgusting at first but i got into it drank the whole thing and so yeah it was good good film good night out really so that was good um so the other day um I got on quite a bit with uh, one of my projects that I've got to do. Um, but today, I need, and it, so they're all out in the front room and I now need to find a room for them. I need to stash them somewhere because we need the seat in tonight. <laughs> so where am I going to put it? I don't want to put it away because it means I won't do it again. And it's a, a blanket for Gary that I've been making him for quite some time. But it's chunky, so I couldn't do it all through the winter. It's quite a size now. It's big enough as a lapgan, but obviously he wants it big so it goes over the whole settee. And then if we both want to be covered up, we can be at the same time. Anyway, yesterday, oh my God, I had a shock. We're driving along and Gary said, give me a tissue. And when I looked, there was a spider in the car over in the right hand side. And it was one of them little tiny ones with an egg sack on it. So obviously it's got babies in it. So I, I said, you have to make sure, don't you miss it. Anyway, he, he got the right right place, but there was no spider. It must have fell to the floor. So it's not there. And there is a spider roaming around the car. Now, I have no idea how big this thing's going to get. Last time we had a spider in the car, I sold the car. It was that bad. Um, it was It scuttled across the dashboard as we were coming home from the cinema one night. And I was just joining the motorway because we, uh, we've we got a closer cinema now than we ever have. But yeah, I was joining the motorway and this thing ran across the dashboard and then it disappeared when I, it came time to sort of, I've joined the motorway, I can deal with it, gone. And all I kept seeing were bits of web in the car. I dumped two cans of cooling insect spray in that car in all the air vents because believe it or not, cooling insect spray and so does fly spray kills them, but you have to really douse them. And you have to find them first. But I, I, that car stank of that stuff afterwards. But at that time, I'd received something from um, my dealership saying, oh, Black Friday, come and see the new deals. We can get you in. And Gary had always wanted a Sportage. So I thought, OK, I'll chop it in for a Sportage. Hated that Sportage. But there was no... And I loved that little Rio that I had. It was really sporty, but... Um, and it had little stripes going over. It's so cute. Everyone liked the car. Whenever they see it, they go, I love your car. But um, it had a spider, so it had a go. Now, this one has got a spider. So, yeah, don't know. And it's because Gary keeps taking all the stuff, all the rubbish, in the car to the tip. So I always say, make sure there's no spiders on it, but something that small you're not going to see. And he always says, oh, well, you know, I'll really make sure. Apart from putting everything in a bag, you're never going to, are you? So now we have spider car. 
And we probably had both cars with spiders in. Ooh, that's all I can say. I've got no choice but to go in it. It was a tiny one, and I don't tend to be scared of little ones. But I don't know how big it's going to get. And it had an egg sack. So that just might mean I'll have a colony. <laughs> Which will breed. Oh, my. And then they'll all be weird because they'll be inbred. <laughs> Mutant inbred spiders. That's all I need. Okay, let's take our mind off it with the movie quote of the day and the pussycat quote. I'll have to get the cat in the car. They're meant to eat spiders. Oh, I think mine has run away. Mike, my son, sent me a picture of a... I think it looked like a rat. And he put Buffy underneath it. So she'd obviously killed it. It was either a it was either a mouse, but it looked more like a rat. And and I looked at it and I thought, Buffy's tiny, right? <laughs> she's toughy, but she's feisty. And I just looked and I thought Fluffy would run away from that. She'd run away from a mouse. She'd run away from a spider. I have a reject cat. Everyone else's cat eats them. Having said that, I haven't seen that many here, so perhaps she does. I'd like to think she does anyway. So this pussycat quote is, humans can't caterwaul except in the bath or sometimes when they play the piano. That's not... <laughs> I'll have to let Mike know he caterwauls. He'd be happy. He's just done a new um, guitar, kind of bit on a guitar, a bit heavy. He put it on Facebook and I said, oh, can I use that for one of my my um slideshows you said we'll have to let me see it I thought, oh, it's a slideshow it's gonna be either like showing showing my tutorials just playing in the background what, what is there to see anyway we'll see watch this space it might happen you never know uh, oh yeah your movie quote of the day there was um two little clues there was um they drew first blood and don't push me which obviously was Rambo. Teresa got it. Oh, what does that say? Julie. Jane's husband got it. Miss a Pippin and Carol. And this one. <laughs> this one. It's obvious. <clears throat> I'm getting character. What do they call you? Wheels? <laughs> <laughs> what do they call you? Wheels? I've got something to tell you about that when we do the reveal. So what do they call you? Wheels? If Keisha didn't understand my butch gruff voice. What do they call you? Wheels? <clears throat> Good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. <sighs> yeah, so I'm going to go have breakfast. And I've got overnight oats today. And... um so I also have a little bit of leftovers from yesterday's dinner for lunch. But if I eat too much, I won't want my meal this evening. So I might leave that for tomorrow. It'll still be okay for tomorrow. But let's say if I get peckish, got some beef, got some veggies. So I don't really want to eat too much though, as I said. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Good luck with the movie quote. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.